Hey guys, what's going on? Mac Mage here, and I figured I would do one more video because, well, I'm not in bed yet and it's already late, so I may as well just do one more. So, this is a Google Chrome extension called iOS 8, and what this allows you to do is basically have your new tab window be the interface of an iPad. So, if I were to click up here to get a new tab, it would just give me this once more. So this is a uh, Google Chrome extension and I will leave the link to get this extension in the description. And so all of these are legit. You can click on it unless they go to Tumblr or you click on Pinterest and go to Pinterest. These all work. The cool thing about these are you can just play them like you would play on an iPhone. So for Flappy Bird to make the bird go, you just press on your um, magic pad if you're on a Mac or your mouse, whatever makes your mouse go, um, and it will make the Flappy Bird go. So I will show you in just a second how terrible I am at Flappy Bird. I'm actually not that terrible at Flappy Bird. I just can't play under pressure. <laughs> My record is um, 41 or 42. Yeah. So I'll just be terrible at this one more time, I promise. Um, so there's that. All of these work. Let's go to Angry Birds. And I'm probably not going to play this because the music is going to be pretty loud, I think. So there you have it, um, and then you have Pac-Man. So there's all these kinds of games they actually work, and just you have to move, use your keyboard arrows to move Pac-Man around. Okay, I'm having too much fun. The only thing I did have a problem with is Contra, because unfortunately the settings were not in English and I could not figure out how to fix the settings so that they would be in English, which was very disappointing because I'm a big Contra fan. Um, but I keep it there just because hopefully I'll be able to figure it out one day, I guess. Um, so. Down here is a legitimate app store. If you just click on that, you can just install different things on here. Just scroll through what you like. There's different categories. It's all legit. You don't have to put in your information or anything like that. You just click install and it installs it on the interface for you. Um, and then moving things around is as simple as holding your mouse down over it until the X's appear and then just kind of moving things where you want them to go. Um, and then when you're done, just click escape. At least that's what I do. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just like an Apple interface. And you can play these games and go to these sites. So again, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out. One more thing. You can also add um, apps to this uh, interface. And you can also add whatever website you'd like. Too. For example, I don't have a YouTube icon on here, and I don't believe it was in the App Store, so I'm going to add a direct link to my page. So we're going to go to the Settings app, and from here, you can change the wallpaper, so let's just do that real quick. And then you can also add an app, so let's go ahead and do that. So the app URL I'm going to add is http colon slash slash YouTube dot com slash Mac Mage. Okay, and then I'm just going to call it YouTube.com and then if, if it doesn't populate the image, you can just search one up on Google. Um, this one did, so I don't have to. So I can just click add and that will add it to my home screen. And then I can just close this. So as you can see, my wallpaper is different. And now I have a YouTube icon, which will take me directly to my page. 
It's a really, really cool app. I hope you guys do check this out. Um, you can add your own favorite websites, play awesome games. It's a really nice little extension to have. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and share this video with your friends. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single update or video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.